Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to learn about German key. What is German key? German key is a branch of mathematics that studies the shapes, sizes, positions, angles, and the dimensions of things. Now let's know the basics. First, line. What is line? A group of points in a straight path extending on both sides infinitely is called the line. Infinitely is called the line. Now let's have an example about line. This arrow mark means extend, extending line. I put two arrow marks on the two sides. That means it extends on both sides. Here are two points are A, B. The A and B are the group of points. These two are the points of the straight path. Now let's see the symbol of line. The symbol of line is two elements on both sides. No, we should like the point A and B are together, right? Like this. We should leave this as line A B, and this line A B is also written as line B A. Now, so we should write line B A. Do you understand about line? Okay. Let's go for next. Next is line segment. What is line segment? A part of a line which has two end points and has a definite length is called the line segment. A part of a line which has Two end points and has a definite length is called the line segment. That's an example about line segment. See, these two points are there. This is the starting point and this is the ending point. And this A is the starting point and B is the ending point. As two, two. This is two, one, two. As two. Now let's see the uh, uh, symbol of line segment. The symbol of line segment is one line. And same as line, we should like A and B together. And this is read as line segment A, B. And this line segment AB can also be written as line segment BA. This line segment AB is equal to line segment BA. Do you understand about line segment? Okay. Let's go for length. Next is length. What is length? 
A path of a line which extends only in one direction from a point is called the length. A path of a line which moves in one direction only from a point is called the lake. Now let's have an example about lake. This arrow mark means extending point and this point means the end point. This is the normal point. A B. Point A and the end point B. Now let's see the symbol of lay. The symbol of lay is one, uh, one without anything and one side arrow mark. Now same as line and line segment, we should like a and B together. This is left as A, A, B. And one more thing in A. Like line and line segment can also be written as line B, A and line segment B, A. But in A, it cannot be written as the We cannot write A, B, A. Because this cannot go here and this point cannot come here. Extending line cannot go here. The point cannot come here. That's wrong. So, lay, uh, lay will have only one, uh, one type, not V. Do you understand about lay? Yes. Now, let's know about angles. What is angles? The two legs or line segments form an angle. The common uh, two legs or line segment which has a common endpoint form an angle. That it should have a common endpoint. And the common endpoint is called the vertex of the angle. The vertex. You know of an example comes. And the unit of the angle is called degree, which is denoted as a small point at the point is Two layers two layers or nine segments form an angle which has a common endpoint common end Common angle. Second is the common endpoint is called the called the vertex of the angle. Last point is the unit of the angle is, is called degree. You know that as a small point at the if you want to ask a small point at up like this. Now let's have an example about the angle. Here, this is the degree symbol. And 
and I get a letter for this answer. A O B. Now, the lace are I not here lace. This is the lace. Two lace are there in angles. That is, two lace are line segments. I get the line segments are lace. This is A O and Le A O and Le. Le wo ye and le wo b. These are the two legs. These are the two legs of the of this angle, 85 degree angle. Now let's see the symbol of angles. Angle. This is the symbol for angle. Now here we we should write this angle as angle ye wo b. Ye wo b. Angle ye wo b. And this angle A O B can also be written as angle B O A. Or it can be written as angle B O A. But it never can be ever can be written as O A B or O B A because the center point, the the vertex should not come at the first. Did you understand about angles? Now in the next class, we'll know about types of angles.